بار دیگر در بروکسل گرد آمدید تا از اتحادی اروپا بپرسید چرا همچنان سیاست پوسیده مماشات با آخوندها علیه منافع مردم ایران را ادامه می دهد بگذارید خطاب با آنها تکرار کنم اگر گمان می کنید با خودداری از لیستگذاری تروریستی سپاه آخوندها از پروژه بمسازی اتمی دست برمیدارن سخت در اشتباهی سپاه پاسداران ابزار اصلی اعمال سیاست های جنایت کارانی نظام ولایت فقیه در داخل و خارج کشور است پاسداران همون هایی هستند که خیابان های سر و سر کشور را به خاک و خون می کشند به تادی اروپا می گوییم که به جای همدردی لفظی با مردم ایران از کمک رسانی سیاسی و مالی به دشمن مردم ایران دست بردارید سفارتخانه های رژیم را تعطیل کنید معاملات خود را با رژیم متوقف کنید و عوامل سپاه پاسداران و وزارت اطلاعات آخوندها را اخراج کنید حق مردم ایران و جوانان شنوشگر برای دفاع از خود در برابر پاسداران اونها برای سرگونه رژیم را به رسمیت بشناسید I am very very happy to speak to you, Mr. Rajavi. Mariam Rajavi is an infatigable dirigeant of the principal movement of opposition against the Mullahs. She is a tireless leader who has been fighting against this regime for the past four years, decades, and I want to to hail her. Her steadfastness in the in her struggle against uh, this regime, and thanks to the sacrifices of the resistance units across Iran and their various camp and the various campaigns all over the world. Today, nobody has any doubt that this group of who are with, the, with Reza Pahla, we have no intention other than to divert the way of the revolution. But the Iranian people insist on, have shown that they will not be deceived by anybody anymore. There is no one who can reach around this globe to get the resources to rebuild a country that has been destroyed after 40 years of oppression. There is no one that can bring the skill, the organization, the unity of the Iranian people that Mrs. Rajavi and the MEK can bring to Tehran. We won the revolution, we're winning the revolution, but we will also win the peace and build a new country. So when we have a new Iran that is coming very soon, it only makes sense that the organization that has been protesting longer and stronger than any other freedom group, the MEK can begin to build a new future because they have the legitimacy of having been in the fight and having died for the struggle for a free Iran. The people of Iran have shown the whole world that they want regime change, that they reject the current religious dictatorship of the mullahs, and that they don't want to go back to a dictatorship of the Shah. They want a secular, democratic republic, and we support them in that. Yes, we realize, and we know, this regime in Iran is a threat to the security of Europe. Your fight will bring democracy. Mrs. Rahavi, thank you. Thank you for standing up for gender equality, for freedom of speech, for the separation between religion and state, and for economic freedom for all Iranians. Thank you. Thanks to the opposition, 
democracy is within reach. And when a democratic republic is an option, why should anyone choose a tyranny or a monarchy? Recently, uh, uh, recently I had this opportunity to speak to Mrs. Rajab in, in the Belgian parliament. She is the voice of all the women who are uh, uh, fighting for freedom and uh, democracy and with the brave women who the presence uh, in the streets has shaken the entirety of the, the, uh, the, the Iranian regime. And they are demanding the, uh, the downfall of uh, this regime in its entirety. And uh, after 40 years of a struggle, we are uh, here stronger than ever. And we will be, stay here and, and we will demand the, the inclusion of the uh, name of the IRGC in the blacklist. It is no coincidence that women have such an active role in the protest in Iran for a secular and democratic republic. It is 40 decade, four decades struggle led by the Iranian democ democratic opposition and Mrs. Rajavi. Her remarks to the Persian parliament are really striking. No to forced government, no to forced religion, and no to forced hijab. It is a clear message that women decide for themselves. The issue of achieving democracy and freedom is the right of the Iranian people and all the Iranian men and women. This is the duty of the Iranian people and its resistance units. We don't ask or we don't demand any foreign country to do this duty instead of the Iranian people. The Khabat Organization of Iran with 43 years of its struggle to acquire freedom and its rise for self-determination in Kurdistan who has been fighting against dictatorship, especially the monarchy from the very beginning and in this way, it has been cooperating with the MEK and the NCRI to acquire the rights of the ethnic and nationalities, Iranian nationalities and religious ethnicities. The mullahs do not respect nothing but force, but strength. And those who insist on these shameful deals are bound to pay dearly for them. And this applies to everyone, starting here in Belgium, where the authorities made the most shameful deal for liberating the diplomat terrorist Assadi. It's very obvious that the IRGC is a terrorist organization. And it's very obvious that the world community should recognize it as a terrorist organization and put it on, it, on its terrorist list. 